In this lesson, we will take a look at several different options for saving drawing files in AutoCAD. The first save that we will look at is known as the Q Save or Quick Save. This is done by simply clicking the floppy disk icon in the Quick Access toolbar. Clicking the Quick Save saves the drawing back to the original file name and location. While it doesn't appear anything happened, if you take a look at the command line, you should see that the Quick Save happened. It's important to remember to save often so that you do not lose any work. The next save that we will look at is the Save As. This is also located on the Quick Access toolbar right next to the floppy disk. It's the one that has a little pencil on top of it. There are several different reasons for using the Save As command. First, you might want to make a copy of the drawing that you're in. This could be because you're about to make some changes that you're not 100% sure about and you want to make sure that you have the original file intact somewhere. Selecting the Save As icon will open up the Save Drawing As dialog box. Here you can enter a new name by just simply editing the file name, then click Save. As you can see by looking at the File tab, I have now changed the name of this drawing. I'm actually in a copy of the original drawing. That original drawing has essentially been closed, a copy made, and we are in the new copy. Another reason why the Save As command is used is to save the drawing as a different version. If you are collaborating with somebody that has an older version of AutoCAD, they may not be able to open your file. To save as a different version, just simply click Save As. And in the Save Drawing As dialog box, you can select the Files of Type dropdown. AutoCAD updates the DWG format every few years. If, for example, I'm collaborating with somebody who's using AutoCAD 2015, then I will select the AutoCAD 2013 format. As you can see, the format is still .dwg, but the file format itself is different. Optionally, I can enter a new name, then click Save. Another reason the Save As command is used is simply because the drawing has not been saved yet. If I were to start a new blank drawing, this drawing has not been saved and it has not been properly titled. Because of that, even if I go up and click the Quick Save command, it will open up the Save Drawing As dialog box. Here I'll give it a quick name, then select Save. I can see the new file name reflected in the File tab. And from this point forward, when I click the Quick Save command, it will simply save back to the same file name and location. A couple of more save options are available in the Options dialog box. To access the Options dialog box, I will right-click in the drawing window and select Options from the Context menu. In the Options dialog box, I will click on the Open and Save tab. In the lower left corner, I can see that Automatic Save is selected and 10 minutes between saves has been set as the default value. This means that every 10 minutes, AutoCAD is going to make an autosave file. If for some reason I close out of a drawing without saving, like perhaps my computer crashes, hopefully I will not lose any more than 10 minutes worth of work. Another type of save is a backup save. As you can see, create backup copy with each save is selected by default. A backup copy has the file extension .bak. The backup copy is always the previous version of the drawing file. Therefore, if the current file becomes corrupt, or if I have another reason where I want to recover the previous version of the drawing, I can simply go to the location of the drawing file where I will find a backup copy there as well. The BAK extension can be changed to DWG and it will then become a drawing file. This concludes our lesson on several different save options in AutoCAD.